EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live third round coverage of the U.S. Open Championship. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, what do you think about this approach here at the sixth? Well, one of the few greens here that's protected on both sides, rather narrow green, and you can see really what happens if you miss. Bunkers left and right, plus there's a couple of ridges, so club selection is important here. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Oh, he's gonna love it. How far was that? That was miles away. Well, Frank, this is what a U.S. Open is all about. A long, tough par four up the hill. Yeah, just a beast. And it's a dogleg right on top of that. Uh, there's more humps and bumps and all this than a dermatologist would ever, ever dream of down there. Wow, Frank, look at that one. <laughs> How just blistered that tee shot. Yeah, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is this is gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Can't birdie them all, Rich. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Wow, I thought it was going in just off the mark by a fraction. Not what he had in mind when he stepped to the tee, but it would be just one drop shot. This for bogey. Losing a bit of ground now in this tournament. With the bogey, falls to two over. Well, this hole, the eighth, says U.S. Open all the way. Tee set back to well over 600 yards, Frank, par five. 
Well, it's called high road and low road, so which which way would you prefer? I'd rather take the high road and that sort of whip one down the fairway there, hopefully around the 300-yard mark, and you just might make this par five and two. Then you can tell all your mates. If you take the low road, you're going to rack up a big number, and you don't want to tell anybody. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t- the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Frank, the approach shot here at the 8th, and what's a player looking at? Well, you've got uh, no bunkers really to worry about, but obviously a lot of undulation. You can see there that if you use the contours, that ball's going to kick around a little bit. Relatively narrow, but this is not a problem. You can go in here low or high. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. And getting ready for the putt. A few more birdies like that. Rich, you never know, just might sneak. Place on the podium? In the top ten, right now. Moving on here at the U.S. Open, we've seen long par fours, not unusual, long par fives, and now we finish this front nine, Frank, with a par three. And this is a great example of how a U.S. Open can level the field. Everybody's going to get a tee and a ball here, and this is about hitting your best shot. And uh, this is one hole. If you're struggling a little bit, a little two here is going to go on a long way, pushing you around in the right direction. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. I thought he made that. Oh, I thought that at least pick up a shot. That birdie looked like a sitter. Now par. Has his par. Getting ready now to begin the back nine here at Chambers Bay. Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner Frank Nabolo. Frank, tell us about the tenth. Well, Rich, this hole looks like it's stolen straight out of the uh, Highlands in Scotland. It's called High Dunes, and you can see why big dunes on the left and right frame this hole beautifully. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Rich, I thought he could get this part. That just is amazing. Just a mind blower right there. Absolutely incredible. He made the shot. Now on to the 11th, and Frank, we are looking at a long par four in front of us. We are indeed, and it's called Shadows, but there is love in the shadows here. Hit it over that dune down there in the middle of fairway. If you can get it there around the 300-plus yard mark, then the hole obviously starts to get a little easier. Um, that second shot, you'd like to hit a little bit of a cut in here, but uh, there's two levels to the screen, so make sure you're on the right level where that flag is. Oh, my goodness. He pumped it, he thumped it, he jumped it. What a drive. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, This is a green light special. That will be a great look at birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus.
So one shot closer to the lead with that birdie. Good third round, Frank, and a good spot heading to the final 18. Yeah, to be in the top five right now, the caliber of this field, know that uh, your game is good enough too and, and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now.